Hi YouTube, it's Renee again coming at you on Monday, August 10th, 2015 and I wanted to come on to discuss uh, inappropriateness on social networking sites <sighs> specifically on LinkedIn I personally have not had much success on LinkedIn um, talking to uh, past work connections or making new connections and then seeing where that's going to lead in my career. I just, I never had any good come of that. So I do not visit LinkedIn very often. I don't find it to be helpful in any type of job search, networking, nothing. Okay. So, but I still keep an account. I'm on it maybe twice a month. It's not much. So anyway, um, I am on LinkedIn and have connections from a former employer. Now this employer was a large employer, about 2,500 employees. And I did not work directly with this person. Our paths crossed and I knew him by his title. Uh, what he did and things like that. Um, I did go to some events where he was in attendance in a group and learned a little bit about him which I did not like and it's no offense but I don't like you as a person. So on LinkedIn you can endorse people. I endorsed him because he does have these skills but that's it. That's it. Right? So I made a post on LinkedIn that he commented to and then he sent me a in message, I believe they call it on LinkedIn in message, just basically a private email and it said, hey, uh, when I'm in the area again, we should grab a beer. Well, he doesn't know me well at all because if he knew me, he would know that I don't go grab beers. I'm not a beer drinker per se. I mean, I might have a beer every so often, but it's not my drink of choice. So he doesn't know me well. That shows you right there. He does not know me well. When I first saw the message, I did ignore it because I thought to myself, I'm not grabbing a beer with you. You know, I don't know what it's about. It's not like we work together anymore. He's in another part of California than I'm at. You know, it's just all kind of stuff. But I said to myself, why is this annoying me so much? Okay. So I woke up this morning and it's been about a month or two months since he said, let's get a beer. A month or two months have passed. I woke up this morning and two notifications from him. And it said, the first one said something like, I'm going to be here in your area uh, for the week of August 10th. So let's get together for drinks. And then the second message said the same thing, but he left his phone number. And I'm like, okay, I ignored the first message. And now I feel like I have to respond because he's not getting it that I don't want to go. And then I was asking myself, why am I kind of annoyed by this? Because it's awkward. That's all. And so I made a couple notes away. Okay, so I made three main reasons why I don't want to go for a drink from somebody on LinkedIn. Okay, so number one, I'm plain old not interested. I don't want to have a drink. I don't drink beer and I don't want to have a beer with you. Uh, and I'm not interested in you as a person. The things I did learn about him as a person, it just wasn't good. He dated a co-worker and then when their relationship fizzled out, he did some very mean and nasty things to her. And it's like, that shit, you know, you do that kind of shit in high school. So I wasn't impressed with his behavior. Um, he just kind of, how can I say it? Like when a group of us were talking, he had to pull me aside and you know flirtatious and even though he's thinking it's funny or whatever but I wasn't amused by it and the rest of it so you know he's just not my kind of guy and I would think he would get that vibe that we didn't stay in touch there's some people I've stayed in touch with I know what they're doing they know what I'm doing kind of thing but him I don't know what he's done since I've left that job and vice versa so it's just kind of odd but I'm not interested okay Number two, it is vague to me. 
again, this person has a history of being flirty, of, okay, I don't want to tell everybody's business, but he actually was coming on to a co-worker, and she was saying that he was sending her big, beautiful bouquets, the kind that you would send, like, your spouse, like, he paid good money, they were beautiful with ribbons, and that whatever that little wrap on it you know it was just very fancy very beautiful bouquets and it's like why would you send this to me you know it was a little odd so i've heard enough things like that and seen his behavior like i said in a group where you know i know that he crosses boundaries and for him to ask me out for a drink and i haven't seen him and the rest of it it's just vague it's like well why do you want to have a drink we don't work for the same company anymore we don't do any kind of business together you're in a different industry than me just a little odd it's kind of vague to me and then the last thing it's uncomfortable this guy pulled me aside when we were in a group again you know at this group event and some people have been drinking I kept my drink to one and then I was done. I don't do that with co-workers and things like that. You know, I don't like to drink like that. That's just me. So he pulls me aside though and he's saying, yeah. And this was totally off topic. I don't even remember what we were talking about, but it was totally off topic. He says, yeah, my wife is black. So I think black women are really beautiful. And I was like, why are you whispering? Why is that a secret? Why are you telling me? I didn't appreciate that because tell the whole group. It's like, why are you trying to pull me aside and tell me that? And yeah, so it didn't sit well with me. It made me uncomfortable. It may have been for nothing, but that's how I feel. And so I told myself, you know, okay, he's here for the week. Thank you, Jesus. He doesn't have my number and he has no way of getting it because anybody I know knows I don't hand my number out and you don't hand it out for me. So they would call me first and be like, oh, I saw him. Should I give him your number? Because I don't do that. I don't do that. of a very small circle for a reason. I don't like all kinds of folks all up in my business. And it's like I said, I mean, I don't have to want to go out for a drink with him. I'm, I'm not going to make too much of it because it's very vague and I don't know where he's coming from. But just because I know certain things, we don't work together and we don't work in the same industry. He didn't propose it as a business event. Hey, so I'm going to interpret it as I am, which is it's a drink. I don't want to have a drink with you and that's it. But it just kind of creeped me out because I guess it's on LinkedIn and it's supposed to be about career networking and yeah so it just pissed me off kind of in the rest of it because I hate having these kind of conversations with somebody it's just awkward but I've got to do that so I don't know if anyone else has a story of when they were on LinkedIn and somebody inboxed them and it just it didn't sound right and it didn't feel right inside of you I mean I know this guy from working with him and what I do know I don't like so you know I don't know about strangers and things like that but the people I have on LinkedIn connections I know them I know their work I've endorsed people's work and they've endorsed mine it's like that so I don't know comment below if you've had any experience with LinkedIn and someone offering to buy you a drink and whatever you know, I don't know what to say besides, yeah, I'm I'm not going. I will email him or in-mail him maybe by Wednesday because it's like I'm going to have to let him know very bluntly, no. You know, don't even waste your time asking, but no. You know, everything's cool, but no. <laughs> so anyway, comment below if you've had an experience on LinkedIn like that.